things. I'm more concerned that Arc is like getting closer to ninety dollars again. And like eighty percent of that value is in one card. <laughs> Mitch, I don't know how to fix you. You keep cutting in and out and being all blurry, but it is what it is. Where are you filming? You from? know why? No, I'm, I'm at like... my mom's house. No, it's not my internet. It's my it's my computer. It says the CPUs are overloaded right now on OBS Ninja. Great. So, yeah. All right. Whoa, whoa. So... <laughs> Go ahead, George. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Welcome to May the Zoo be with you. I am joined by the king himself, <laughs> the king of kitchen table TCG, Louis de George. What's up? Sound great. I am joined by the walking plague himself, <laughs> the Metazoo merchant. He has all the ills for the right price. Mitchell Murray. Yes, I do have a cold. Thank you, George. And I am joined by, hold on, everybody. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, I am joined by the one, the only, the Ollie. He says, hi. Don't drink my coffee. You're already a nightmare enough. <laughs> hi, Louis. Can we talk about George's microphone and lack of stand? What? No. Hey. What happened? By the way, I think we just talk about his swagger that he's got going on. George is George, not so cool for too cool for school. He doesn't even have a mic stand. He has to hold it off. George the side didn't, like this. He didn't bring his mic stand to Florida. What happened, George? Did you lose your stand? I did bring my nice stand. I did bring this stand to Florida, but I was like, God, this thing is heavy, and I wanted to go do free content for you. You're welcome. And so I took it apart, and I still know right where the stand is. Don't exactly remember where I put those pesky screws, though. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> are they like little thumb screws that you like? Yeah, the screws are what got me. The the screws on these microphones too are like they, they've got all these different. Um, yeah, uh, like like there's no way to put. It, yeah, there's no way no way to put it back correctly ever. No. <laughs> it doesn't no. matter what you do. So this is me. <laughs> You're welcome. And I was gonna Thanks, do. Sure. Uh, you know, finally the George returns home. But I, you know, I got depressed. I'll be honest. Is The Rock only a movie star to you guys? Or is he like, do you know him as a wrestler? I, I don't watch what? wrestling. What do you mean? Are you ba are you saying that based on our age, George? Listen, yeah, because like Lou doesn't know who Captain George, Planet I, is. What? You don't know who Captain Planet is? George, you and I are Did more similar to age. I, I do actually remember it. It's just been a while. So, but George, you know, I mean, I watched WWE as a child. I'm gonna WWE be honest, I don't really well. consider The Rock an, an actor either. What? what? The, the Rock being a wrestler makes oh, he's a lot a rap of sense artist. to me. No, I forgot. That's a good the, call. The, I can take that. The Rock being a wrestler makes a lot of sense to me because The Rock could be the worst actor that's ever existed. Well, we know what the comments will be about this week. That was early. <laughs> every, I mean, well, every well, movie let, he's let in. Let us know right. what y'all think. Every movie Thank you all for joining me. The Zoomie with you. It's been a it, great week, you guys. See you all next week. <laughs> please just let your... Rock. Really? What? I'm not a fan of the Why rock not? in the way that like I don't that... sometimes like my wife will be like, Hey, do you want to watch this movie? I'm like, No, the rock's in it. Like I just don't like, like the most Moana? recent movie. This is not even about TCGs, but the most recent movie right. this that is he's not in just on the Zoomie with you <laughs> a podcast. The rock edition. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we segue in Pokemon and like Meta like, No, we're not even doing TCGs right. anymore. It's just a podcast. No, no it's just like just movie reviews, of movies that we've never seen together. Oh, God. It's just our unsolicited reviews on just everything. Uh, oh, no, Lord. he's in a movie right now with uh, what's his name, uh, Ryan Reynolds, and it's really good. Yeah, I saw that one. I can. Uh, yeah, did you Ryan think The Reynolds Rock was, was a bad great, actor? Ryan Reynolds is crazy. <laughs> He said he's taking uh, a break from movies after this too. But let's great. transition this should, back to he should, he should do that. Not not the rock. <laughs> why the Louis' hatred of the rock is something I did not see coming. I'll be honest. Not Ryan Reynolds or uh, Ryan Reynolds. I like Ryan Reynolds. Not the rock. Well, he's yeah. taking a break, Louis. So you're Ryan not going to get him. You're going to have to watch the rock instead. Yeah, he's a good actor. Okay. Cool. Today we're great talking talk. about the things we're thankful for. I'm thankful for the rock tomorrow. Uh, if, um, for those of you who are not United States humans, oh, boo. <laughs> we, we celebrate Thanksgiving, which, eh, but or more national indigenous people. Right, let me be very clear here. I celebrate one holiday more than any other in the year. And that is black Friday. <laughs> that is always a thing. Well, I am most thankful for. Oh, George has you to won't pump be celebrating it at Target. You, oh yeah. Are you going to have a made the zoo be with you? Black Friday bundle? 
I will, but I don't really care about that. I care about buying. Um, what is George? What's on George's worst, Black Friday list this year? So this is what I love. I don't need anything. I need nothing. I have. I'm very content with my, what I have in my life. I have capitalism 101. Yeah, yeah. yeah this is like going to become fine. like the most American podcast this ever. American, right now. Yes. Yeah. We're about to. Turn <laughs> let me tell American you what here. I love. I love throwing them bows on Black Friday. Oh my gosh! I love getting in there, getting dirty, and st- going for deals that I will throw away ten months later. If George that turns, his, if George, if George turns his computer to the left, there's a whole stack of toilet paper and uh, and uh, <laughs> paper towels for the next that, he, good about that, that. that he yeah, hoarded good during about that. COVID for so that nobody could feed their family. I, or I went a little nuts on the hand sanitizer. But I was pretty good about the toilet paper. I got some hand sanitizer. Got some hand Can sanitizer. Can you send some? I ran out yesterday. That'd be great. <laughs> no wonder so. you're sick. So yeah, yeah, that's actually it. <laughs> uh, so George, what is on the list this year? Are you going for a TV that you don't need? What don't is need on the item? We have one TV in the house, and it's fine. It's I don't know, fifty-five inches, sixty-five inches. I mean, if it's not eight K, you're gonna need an eight K TV. I'm so. blind, and the Ks don't matter anymore. Are there any? <laughs> Like I can't see one K. I don't know what more Ks will do for me. I'll be honest with you. Are there any uh, good TCG deals out other than the George bundle, which is fleecing everybody? Wow. I'm doing, I, you know, you guys whine that nothing's ever feel on my website. I put something up for sale on my website today and you guys still want you. I didn't, you didn't share it with me. That's why I'm I said I haven't done it yet. I don't know. Oh, no today is Black Friday because we're, it's not Friday now, but when we post this, it's going to be Black Friday. All right. Let's oh. do something fun. Uh, if I can figure out how to do a discount code, which I'll admit the odds aren't high. We've had this discussion on the podcast multiple times. Don't care. Put down the password George carries all uppercase for $25 off your order. First wow. five people. Yeah. We talked about this so, once before. The, the, the amount of pride. I can't see and I can't remember. Of, I'm a perfect human being. Pride involved to make your password for your site. George <laughs> carries. So you have to buy people with twenty five dollars to to say it. Yeah, that's fine. I'll take it. That's fine. Yeah, fine. You have to you have to basically submit your pride in order to get a discount on the. Uh, yes, the truth. Website. You got only honest people can collect that coupon code. Okay. All right. Well, I'll make sure to let, let in the good old USA. That. We are celebrating Black Friday. Black Friday. No, I mean, sure, capitalism. <laughs> we, what are the things that you guys are thankful for this this wonderful year? I'll start. I'm thankful for you two and for our friendship uh, and for this podcast and the great times that we've had. And uh, I'm thankful for our 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 message thread that we have right now going on. Our text message thread. <laughs> That is one of the things that has brought me the most joy. It has brought me so much joy this year, and I'm glad nobody else can read it. It's my it's my safe space. (laughs) (laughs) We can blackmail. We can blackmail. (laughs) Yeah, we can blackmail each other through that. So Uh, now somebody's going to try to try to figure out how to hack one of our devices to read it. So yeah, spoiler alert: I'm the one you want to aim for. That's true. We're going to hack we got, we got three nothing. of us. George's, target. George's Walmart phone can't even have a password on it. The password is George carries. <laughs> uh, he has it all on his own device. That's where the confidence comes from. He has to use that code every single time to unlock his device. And I just subconsciously care. is now always in his head. I carry. I carry this. How does Android know I carry the podcast? God, this thing is smart. This is why they call it a smartphone. (laughs) Oh, Oh, my gosh. George carrying us nine minutes into the podcast and not a single (laughs) conversation that's irrelevant (laughs) yet. (laughs) Should we get to it? I was carrying you. Listen. I guess I was carrying. Listen, I was listening to the the Props and Drops podcast this week. Um, yeah, because there was because oh, AOT was like, "Where's this? Where's this conversation to transition to?" Let's take no, it somewhere listen, different. And I I loved that um, they just hang out and chat like at the beginning. Like it's just like they're just chatting about sports. They're just shooting it. it. It was good. I love it. Um, all right, let's um, now that we're okay. we've cool. made. I'm thankful of- for getting skipped. Continue. You had opportunities to talk no, about what no, you were thankful I'm, for, I'm thankful and instead getting... you made jokes about how much you carry the podcast. 
<laughs> Maybe that's why he's thankful for it, that he gets to carry this podcast. What are you thankful for, That was his for, way George? of saying that. Nothing, apparently. What are you thankful for? Being ignored by my closest friends. Wow. We're your closest yeah. friends. No. That's Ollie. That's Ollie. What are you thankful for, Ollie? And Ruby. More thankful for Ruby, I'll be honest. Ruby's a better dog. <laughs> <laughs> I had, the yeah. wife just walked up angrily and left. I have one of those. Like, no, Ollie's the goat. We've got Batman and Golly, and Batman was like the one that we like. We bought that. He's a black lab. He's like the most loyal dog in the universe. And Golly, we rescued. And like Golly, I, I think sometimes like doesn't want to be rescued anymore. He's just like, I don't like this family. <laughs> 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 He's <laughs> like, just hold me. Did you say his name is Golly? Yeah. So uh, we went to um, West Virginia. Had like major floods like uh, three, four years ago. And we went and did some uh, like recovery work down at the Golly River, and somebody had like, like literally tied him to their back tree in the middle of a flood. You know, like if you tie a dog to a tree in the middle of a flood, that they can't get away from the water that is flooding your yard. And house. anyway, so right, his name is Golly. Just apparently, we want to remind him about the water. That is the most, I was... <laughs> Man, yeah, no wonder he wants to leave. You remind him of this Louis. trauma. You remind him of his trauma Jesus. every single time you call his name. Call it. It's just like a, I actually the was rock say, sucks. And I love traumatizing my dog. The Louis de George story. I, I was no, that's just that like where he Golly, came from. Golly is the most West Virginia name for a dog I've heard, and you validated that further with this story. Well, it's the Golly River. It's exactly. Like, I would have named his dog. I wish I had roads. <laughs> Listen. I was thankful for you guys, but now I'm not. I revoke, I also, revoke, oh I revoke my thankfulness. Oh you can get skipped like I got skipped. That's perfect. Continue. Right, what are you thankful for, George? I don't know. I don't Why don't know. we just keep going for George? I, yeah. You already answered. Uh, I'm, listen, uh, this has been a very good year for me, and I am legit thankful for that. Um, The store's done absolutely appallingly well. Um, thanks for incredible leadership and um, <laughs> nothing to do with the TCG spikes. Yes. All my leadership. And I'm thankful for my brain. Um, you know, we closed a couple of major business deals this year, which I'm pretty pumped about. Um, it's been a good business year. Um, you know, my wife and I are happy. Um, the dogs are happy. New friends, better old friends. Um, <laughs> you know, Lots to be thankful for. Great year. Yeah. Great year. Unbelievable year. It's funny when you look at it uh like in a macro, right? When you like take a step back, it's like so much better than when you look at it like in like an individual week or something like that. Like you like there's so much for me, like there's so much grinding going on. But like when I pull back and take a look yeah, at I mean, it. Like, I carried your YouTube channel to five thousand subscribers. Like that's amazing for me. That's yeah. You did such a good job. <laughs> so that's I think we I think we figured out is the I think the title of this video is just going to be all caps George George Carries George Black Friday Special. I think it's going to be the rock sucks and I like traumatizing my dog. Yeah. Five thousand, you've gotten us. <laughs> you, you've gotten almost a million views this year too. Thank you, thank you to my viewers. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. You guys, are, you guys that's are. Why, that's why up. I hold the mic with an extra swagger. It's for my viewers. Yeah. yeah. God, there's so many jiffable things that we could do for you, George, and I love yeah. it. All we the can George just create a whole. Can we just a do a lot. George NFT line I was and just like say not it. cut him in? It'll just be Louis and I who set it up and then just – well, you'll just Gift carry us further. Point. You'll just carry us further to be on the same level as you, George. Yeah. That's where we need to be. I want Aoki. I, if I get a one-of-one one George NFT, I will send it to Aoki. I have a one-of-one on one George NFT. And he will be less confused <laughs> than when he opened the sample heart. <laughs> All right. <laughs> He'll be like, who's this fat man? I got to get I wish up. we could shred it up. That'd be nice, too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's talk. To TCG player. Uh, let's, Go ahead. Let's, uh, let's talk about the Christmas promo. Dude. Uh, I want to get it. I want it. Have you seen it, it yet, George? It. Have you Have you gotten? Have you looked at it? The crack bobble promo? No, I get mine on Friday. Friday or Monday? Sorry. I think it's called a festive promo. I think, I but think it's a crack be... bobble. Yes. Um, a, this is cool. I think it's a. I think this shows like that they have been paying attention to the community. A couple uh, last year, somebody posted a, a Christmas 
tree sorry a festive tree that was uh <laughs> that w- had a bunch of cracked baubles on it and i thought th- i thought this was really cool um i want to thank all of for my christmas promos you want to what thank lss yeah. for the christmas promos oh yeah that's the thing i'm most in that play for. mat in the christmas ornament card the christmas you know what be you know what we should do what you should do is put it in a case or just hole punch it tie a little string on it hang it on your tree good to go just hole punch it yeah i mean just hole punch it (laughs) the the first podcast i don't get the spiciest comments in your comment section i'll be honest with you i'm feeling good about my odds right now just let the rock look at it it'll be perfect yeah I'll just give one. I'll just send one over to the Rock for Christmas, and he'll be like, "Oh, look, a rock, a festive rock for Christmas." How how thoughtful! Oh God! Oh God! This is that the hurt. this is the type what? of stuff that the like. Bob, what is the bobble? It's like a rock, isn't it? It's a dragon how many egg. Hearts there are. Spoiler: There's forty. It's a dragon egg. Is that what you're speculating? God. I hope so. So bad. What? I hope so bad. They do that Georg R R Martin crossover set, and that's how they announce it. The Game of Thrones mean? crossover set. Um, my wife wants me to start watching Game of Thrones. Should I start watching it? No, no. Here's the problem with Game of Thrones. You got to focus on it. You can't yeah. like do stuff on your computer. To me, that's a hard pass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. George is like, if I have to devote my full focus to anything during my free time, I'm out. I'm out. He's, he's like, I'll only watch a movie and I'll only focus on it if The Rock's in it. That's the yeah. only yeah. <laughs> That's have the you only seen one Moana? On. The stars and the what is mind. Moana? Why do you keep mentioning that? Isn't she? Isn't he the voiceover? I don't know what that is. Is it? You've never watched Moana, the Disney movie? No. Disney Pixar? No. I don't even, what? I, no, I don't even know what it is. M O A N A. You have a toddler <laughs> and you've never watched Moana. I don't even know what, what it is. What does your child watch? She watches Pokemon. Why would I have her watch anything else? Do you do you have a Disney Plus subscription? Yeah. Okay. We Look don't up watch Moana it. when we're done and <laughs> go the... watch it and enjoy The Rock to Rock Johnson. Oh, The Rock's in it. That's that explains right. why I haven't watched it. <laughs> <laughs> it's great because I think you're digging think deeper into enough. the rock socks. I like it is so it's good. Like such a great flex. It's the flex I didn't know I needed, I'll be honest. <laughs> It's like, I'll tell you something. I hate The Rock. Why? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. He's the worst actor I've ever seen. That, that dude has seen. roads. I want roads. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to go back to the cracked bobble now. <laughs> I... <laughs> oh, my God. If The Rock is in the cracked bobble, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> I mean, he. I think he's Somalian. Make it happen. He's from Somalia, right? Like he's Somalian, right? So he's closer to New Zealand than we are. He's Somalian. Like, what is happening? Like, he, he has like those. He, he oh, comes from George like, Fingers. George he's Fingers. From Samoa. Samoa. Oh my God. Yep, you're right, George. Just ignore <laughs> me. One's Africa and one's Southeast Asia. It's fine. This is so good. This is the best <laughs> podcast we've ever done, and we've discussed nothing. <laughs> <sighs> um, Sorry if you came to want to listen to TCG. Oh it's just I, three guys. I just have been out. trying for hours to get us back into this. Um, I think <laughs> that the the crack bobble is good because it shows that LSS can be fun, and I think LSS I, needs to lean into their fun side a little bit more and less their competitive less side. Less serious. Yeah, <laughs> like, I, I love the play mat. The play mat's actually, I think, the best part I, of the whole thing. I can only think of the rock popping out of the crack bobble now. I'll be honest with you. That's all I can say is the rock. Tearing it open in the last set. Oh man! No, like I think like the the bobble school. It's fun. It's not competitive. It's not like trying so hard to keep I, it on. I'm trying, I'm trying to start a dialogue, and George just keeps ruining the whole thing. Oh god! Who carries the podcast now, George? Who carries it now? I mean, the rock. Oh my gosh! Um, I also like that there's 32 of them. Like I like Bingo. how they weren't like they weren't like Bingo oh okay, here's going. there's here's four. <laughs> They're like no, the entire kit is bobbles. It's like a meme. Yes. It's like the best meme. So let me be clear uh, here. I don't get the cracked bobble love from the community. It is the thing I understand what? the least. Yeah, it's because you don't understand humor. 
you, it's fine. Yeah, that's, that's what most people would say about me. Is like, geez, I wish George were a little bit less serious. I wish yeah. he could laugh a little bit. Like, that's, my, that's my favorite thing from people. Um, my favorite thing is the 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 Santa or the festive thing they did that was just like George. It looked like you. He looked like me with nipple piercings. I was all about it. I mean, mm. I think it might be the wait, wait, wait. for. Do they have? I think the gems oh, have some jewels. I think the gems. Are the there. gems. Uh oh, we lost Mitch because Mitch is trying to do something on his computer while trying to webcam with us. Just don't oh, touch God, it. Just don't touch it, Mitch. Don't touch your computer. Every time you touch your computer, you, you just get served. Up. I keep tapping you're, over. You're on mute. All I'm doing is tapping over. I'm not muted. You're good now. You you're good now. Me? Don't touch your okay. computer. Just leave it. All just I'm doing leave is your computer tab- alone. This is how lame this MacBook is. I can't even switch tabs. I'm just tabbing Listen, over. I'm just I, clicking in a tab to look oh, at the Santa. I, I, I knew admired. the second I heard MacBook, I was going to get a story. Listen, Here we go. Listen, I sent my MacBook in Listen, to get Linda. fixed. My brand new MacBook oh, Pro. I'm sorry, George. To get I fixed. started a whole thing. They send me back my MacBook Pro with a brand new logic board. Completely new logic board. Completely new trackpad. Compl- oh my gosh, there's a burrito there. Completely new Touch ID sensor. I get it back and I turn it on and it says it's December 31st, 1969. <laughs> so I, I changed the date and time. I use my so, computer and it turns off and I turn it back on and it says it's December 31st. I'm so sorry you're watching this, everybody. <laughs> go, go tell Red Zone Rogue we say hi and watch his content for a little bit and come back. <laughs> come back next week. Anyway, they forgot to put in like main components back into the computer. And so now I still don't have a MacBook. So I still All can't right. do content. So where I was going was I don't get the correct bobble thing. I'll be the first to admit this. But like, here's what don't what you I get think. about it? What? What is there to get? Like, why don't you get it? Why do people want eighty trillion cracked bobbles? Because they're cold a cracked bobble, man. I'm glad you both are eating during the podcast. It, it's really good, nice and professional. I thought that's what people wanted. Yeah, I mean, I thought like I'm hungry. <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> it's breakfast time. I just had my head. I, Some of us have kids, and we don't. We're not able to I feed think, ourselves. Until I, I think it's a it's a meme in our community. Nobody yeah, knows what, what it is. Say. It's so like it's here's what matters to me is that the community wanted it and LSS gave it. Yeah, I hundred percent agree. And like I do like they're all cold foil. I like that. I you know what I don't know is the cost difference between doing a cold foil card and doing a rainbow foil card for LSS. But I like the idea of like all cold foil um promo cards once every month, once every two I'm sorry, once every two months, once every quarter. I think that'd be dope. Yeah. It's a good Christmas. I mean, good, uh, really cool. Festive celebration that play mat's awesome i'm buying that play mat i agree yeah i agree i think it'd be really cool when they do these promos too if we don't have to wait a year to understand how many promos they released like no, what if we know like no no what no what? no what? do not ever release how many promos there are the <laughs> last thing we need is the same 20 almost made you edit a word louis i would going have after it. did you see my promo. interview with joey <laughs> no joey dropped like Probably eighteen f bombs. Uh, people going for promos. What? Uh, I mean, that's Joey. Joey just speaks his mind. Yeah, that's what he does. Anyway, I I agree. Like, like, I don't let want them the promos be Why? promos. Don't release the print runs. Don't tell us a print Why? Runs. Cause, because because not everything go, needs to be hoarded by twenty jerks. Or what if I just want to collect it? But I don't want to collect well, it. You can collect it without like... knowing how many there are. That doesn't, like, you can't be like, oh, it, it, it loses collect- its collectability. The number. If there's 10,000 or 20,000 of them, doesn't it? Listen, what? the cracked bobble is not going to be an expensive cold foil promo. No. Not no. not even a little bit. Nope. Um, and no. also, stores aren't allowed to sell it. Important. If you see your store selling it, tell them they're being naughty and fat George on the playmat is thinking of them. I'm going to buy a ton of them. That's fine. I'm gonna buy, to buy. I'm gonna them, buy fifty. Which I don't love. Which Why? I don't love. But I'll buy the play mat. But I don't love I'm, it. I'm but gonna like buy them care. and make but a like, tree out of crap. Aren't allowed bubbles. to sell these promos. Let me be very clear here. If your store is charging you for these promos, they're doing bad, and you should turn them in. It, are people still doing that? I don't feel like yes. people are still doing that. They're just doing it there on were, eBay. There was somebody doing it at Nationals. That's stupid. That was a bad. I didn't like that. I mean, like, and I mean this. Like, this is what drives me crazy. LSS has given stores, uh, inarguably, the best OP kit, right? 
Like, you know, I get I get 20 trillion magic cards every pre-release. And congratulations, if you add them all up, I think they're worth 15 cents. Mm. Uh, it's amazing. Um, LSS gives us the best OP kits. They give they tell you this is for free. This is for free. All I ask you to do is run tournaments for my game of which you can charge for them. Yeah. You can charge and for then, tournaments. And probably make more money. And stores are still like, I have an idea. I got an idea. <laughs> what if instead of supporting the game, I ripped off all my customers? Yeah. Like they're lazy. Dude, like if your store is doing this, tell them they're being bad and like and it's and lazy. Elf on the shelf does not love them. And it's lazy. Is he gonna are they gonna tell uh, Fab Santa? What if so, they actually sent an elf on the shelf with it? I oh my god, that. that'd be amazing. The I want James the... White on the shelf. I want a James <laughs> White on my shelf. James White, make it happen. Merch the, idea. The, the thing about the crack it has a little bobble. has a little sign like if you sell promos, I know about it. The thing about the crack bobble that it has going for it is like nobody wants one crack bobble. Where, where are we going? Aww. I can see her. Nobody oh, wants one crack bobble. Like Everybody's going to want a bunch of them. Everyone's going to want a whole Christmas tree full of crack bobbles. Fine. That's fine. I don't care. That's great. I love it. That's fine. I like um, it. A, it's a, it, is, it is the best armory kit ever, I think. I agree. Is that true? No. Might Cav, be true. Cav Dane one was better. That, okay. That's Why? not a top five. That, yeah, man. No. I'm telling you, long term, Cav Dane one's going to be better. Because PvE Why? is going to change this game. Jeez. It's going to change the world. <laughs> It's gonna be Cow Dane's gonna go back the, to the rock. <laughs> Cow Dane's gonna be the best character in PVE and okay, Cold Shiana. Flail Cav Dane to 1k and uh and Coax of Commotion to 100. Cold Flail Cav Dane, uh, yeah, dope. cool. That's the Christmas promo. Yeah, I uh, what else is there to say about? I'm hyped. How about this? Is there any cool Christmas variants for armor events that people could do? Uh, we're doing that thing they did at the uh, national where you get two packs of each of the sets. So you get six packs. Certain, uh, I forget what they call it. They call it like time twister or mind bender or something like that at the thing. We're stealing that idea. I yeah. like it. And you do, and then you do it sealed with it. Yeah, that's cool. Interesting. Are you and doing them all sets or just food. not? You didn't even like the out of print sets. Every set's out of print. So that's easy to do. <laughs> that's not hard. <laughs> <laughs> what other sets would he do? I think Guys, it's, I, I think can't get any, I can't get anything from distribution. I've been I only have called, you thought about being better. I don't know. This is I, I, I have thought of maybe that nobody cares about like the the small little LGS guy because I call my my other rep that's not the the one that Elemento the other rep <laughs> and. <laughs> I he was struggling they, so hard there not to they, like sell. You had to the remember the alphabet. They, <laughs> he's just like, yeah, I got nothing. Yeah, I got nothing. What? Yeah, I got nothing. The one you're talking about no- actually has nothing. I got nothing for you. Yeah, I got nothing. Yeah, I got I nothing. Got, I got some. I thought about. Hey, can you tell me when you have something? Yeah, and then they don't call. Yeah. Like they, they, it doesn't matter. It, uh. it's, anyway, um, I. I am doing. What do you a, want? What boxes are you looking for? I want all the boxes. I've been trying to get boxes for months. You want months. Like Tales of uh, boxes no, of I want Ark and WTR and Crew. I've been well, trying well, to get them. Ark and Crew are out of print. I don't no, know. They said right. we have another shipment coming. They said we have another well, shipment coming. They said maybe there may be some coming. They said the last shipment was coming. I'm not of Crew. <laughs> Crew's gone. Yeah, Crew's I don't gone. know. Arc. I need Arc. There is my crew on my website on Black Friday. I want WTR. I can't even get WTR. They can't do one. Like they wouldn't give me WTR. I got some Monarch Blitz decks if you need them. (laughs) I'm doing um my promo for my my, my, my festive promo is uh it's the the Santa playmat where he's fighting Ira. Uh, Spoiler alert: Ira is not winning. Uh, And then I had my sister's an artist and I got a hundred cards like command and conquer and light and strike all the hero cards, a bunch of like, you just did sta- all prints? A, a bunch of just staples. And my sister put uh Santa Claus, like <laughs> put Santa into all the alts, like, all, like altered all the cards with Santa in it. Did you um, do that to a CNC? Uh-huh. Did you CNC E strike 
first edition foil e strike. No, I'm just joking. No, but all the uh, all the all the cards. And so uh, the kit you'll get. There's only going to be a hundred kits, and the cards are going to be numbered one through a hundred. Uh, and it's going to be one card, one play mat, and then an assortment. It was supposed to be an assortment of unlimited boxes, but I can't get any unlimited boxes because you, you, I, my name is not, you know, Mr. George or Rudy. Um, wait, 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 let me be very clear here. One of those is direct. One of those has the same <laughs> number you have, brother. Oh, yeah, the same number. Yeah, right. I guess I did start my story a year before you. That's a good yeah, point, Louis. That's true. About two years before you. Thanks that's for bringing true. that up. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I forget. What was your favorite part of selling Alpha? I don't remember. Can you tell me that? Oh, that's what you know about the game. Then never mind. I apologize. I apologize, Louis. That's my. Also, part. it's really not fair of me to rag on you because you have hooked me up with tons of box. <laughs> But well, that's not on brand, point, and on this brand, on this podcast, you and I have a thing, so we have to stick to it. <laughs> and I, I thought you really offended. I thought you'd like being compared to Rudy, but I guess not. I do love. Let me tell you something. No, you I don't want to be compared to Rudy right now. I give a shout out to Rudy. Rudy is the goat. Listen, Rudy and Mike. When I am surprised, they didn't bust out into a petting zoo when they were in the same because those are just two goats goating around. <laughs> Rudy needs Rudy to get opening a mark going around. that is one hundred sixty-five dollars a box, charging his patrons two eighty for that box, <laughs> and then complaining about people saying, "Geez, I lost my shirt on it." Is the best Rudy video <laughs> I've ever seen. Rudy, I want you to know, I go back in time to the first question I was asked. You are what I'm most thankful for. <clears throat> like I, Rudy, that needs- was wow. my favorite video I've ever seen. I've ever seen. My I've favorite is him seen. lighting, trying to light his cars on fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready for the you ready for the George prediction? Yes. He sells the ashes. I dude. Okay. He, I, I don't think the ashes. I think the cards. Yeah, <laughs> they're just they're not really burned. They're more they're more. Can can know, I do medium, a spoiler for rare. our channel? They're medium rare cards. Can I do a I mean, you're going to show, you're going to, you have to tell us what card you're showing. And Can what I do it looks a spoiler like for... for a video that I have coming out? Sure. Yeah, that, this is great content. Continue. I can't see the grade. I can't see any of this. Look at it. Look at the it's, card. It's, I can see it. Is it a 10 or an Oh, did you, did you burn it? It says <laughs> it's, it's all burned. <laughs> it's burned. Well, the P, why is the PSA <laughs> label like a 45 degree angle? Because it's not real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. That makes so much more sense. I'm like, geez, dude. <laughs> oh my god, the comments this week are gonna be amazing. <laughs> I will be reading the comments this week if you want to tell me anything. <laughs> what did y'all think of? Did y'all watch Rudy's video? Uh, no. This is coming. My how to burn a card is coming. I mean, I don't think we needed help with that. Rudy did a great card? video. LSS might have messed this up a little bit. Clearly, no. they should be selling their cards also as insulation because that does not catch on fire. Yeah, that's that not, fire uh, resistant. like fire resistant cardboard. It's yeah, amazing. well, they put a uh, they put a nice coating on those. Listen, that's, I mean it's it's a finish that they put on the cards. There's so nothing they gasoline they won't burn through. <laughs> <laughs> now we know you're from West Virginia. That's now exactly we know you're from what West I thought, Virginia. George. I was like. <laughs> this guy's from west virginia if he's using gasoline to start a fire my buddy owns a flamethrower no joke we took the card out also and we now used a real it. flamethrower on it this is the best podcast we've ever done the video is coming. <laughs> also the worst oh god um i don't i don't feel this is right. a good one people are at the same time i'm like it, it, we're just shooting it we're doing good this is great. I'm okay. back. Um, yeah, Christmas is good. I I think the Rudy the um what the what are you bringing a Christmas he's about? Teasing for the end of the year. The the promo. I think the Rudy kit that he's teasing for his uh his six years on YouTube is going to have those cards randomly inserted. That's my prediction. I would not love that. I'll be honest. That would not spark joy. But no, you lo- the yes, it would. You love it. Okay. <laughs> I'd buy it. I'd buy it. <laughs> You can't I buy it. Through, I'm you not can't even Rudy buy it because you're not through the Rudy kids. Yeah. If Rudy puts something out with his face on it, I'm like, give me five. Yeah. I have no idea why. They will be worthless in 50 years, I bet. Won't matter. Yeah. Want them all. Uh, that's a great, that would be a great episode of like, what will cardboard be worth in 50 years? Rudy was, card to 25,000 K. Huh? 
What did you say, Mitch? I say contingent that we, we'd all do with the contingency. Fab is still around in 20, 30 years. What well, like 50 like? years is a long time. Like I'm talking like, yeah, the, I don't want to get into it on this podcast, but I think this would be a really good podcast of like, what, what do these TCGs need to do to stay around for 50 years? If that's even a thing. Um, I don't know. I think about that all the time. 50 years is a long time. You really? God. Yeah. I'll be dead. It won't matter that much to me, I'll be honest yeah. with you. Yeah. Um, I won't be because I'm not ancient. <laughs> <laughs> What's the life expectancy of somebody in West Virginia? Look it up for me real quick, will you? <laughs> just for just for fun. Just for fun. Let me know. Uh, man. Uh all right. Yeah. What else we got? We didn't... <laughs> I thought you were gonna look it up. No, Mitch is obviously looking it up. His computer's all shot to crap again. No, it's, every time it he touches, it's nothing. I, I can't. Yeah, this computer man can't multitask. Um, oh, this is the. Best. I think I'm just gonna buy one of the new MacBooks and I'll be good to go. Oh uh, yeah, bol- like you're just blazing I, fast. I I tried to do that. It doesn't ship till like February. Oh, oh is it that far behind? But I would have overnighted. I would have overnighted a five thousand dollar computer to myself this week if I could. You know, I need. I you need might just get work. a PC at that rate. I have a gaming PC. I hate PCs, but now I hate Macs, so I'm just gonna not use computers. I'm going back to abacuses. <laughs> I'm going back to the abacus. You know, I can <laughs> add a track of my desires. I need just to go to Linux. You'll be fine, Louis. I need to have the Rock call Apple. Be like, I don't get your stuff together. <laughs> He's a really He's nice guy. Intro You've never that'll be your first intro. It'll be your rock impression. Get yourself together. <laughs> Come on, Apple. Get your crap together. I like how, I like how he I don't, I don't understand. If you had said, if we were doing like a thing where we're doing impressionism and you're going, hey, Mitch, what is Louie doing? Who is he impersonating? I would have no clue. Who you're impersonating? That is nowhere near I'm the rock. I'm not an imperson. I'm not an impersonist. That's not. I'm not, not that's an impersonist. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. I'm, I'm a crappy content creator. I'm a, I'm a Louis. TCG. I'm a Louis. I'm not an imperson. All right. Uh, Meta's I will minute. tell is you this. We're, we're not done yet. We what? Got- I don't. We, we talked about one thing, and it was the Fab promo. And that's all we. Got what? Else? We don't know how. We, that's what's on my list. This is all what's right. on my list Let's of things to it. talk about. Right. Let's do it. Ever there's the first couple of stores have started to pre-sell Everfest. Oh my god, I am so frustrated by our community. <laughs> wow. Why are you frustrated? I was about to say this is awesome. Go for it, Louie. How do we not learn? Oh, I love it. There are people on the Facebook group saying, should I pre-order a hundred and thirty dollar boxes yeah. of Everfest? Absolutely go for it. You deserve it. <laughs> if you ask the question of should I pre-order Everfest at like 130 to 150, yeah. Yeah, go for it. You deserve it. And then ask yourself where the current set, where's Tails first right now? Where's Monarch Matt? first? Right where's now? Monarch first? <laughs> uh, I think All like, right. so the here's, first, here's, every here's content creator has said it too. That's what drives me nuts. Like every content creator has said it. Don't don't pre-order, don't buy for yeah, like listen. I will say that the one distributor is already taking numbers. Hold on one second. One distributor is already taking numbers. And they are... I don't want to edit this part out, so we're just going to roll with it. <laughs> You're doing great. One distributor is already taking numbers. One distributor is already taking numbers. And they're going to hopefully get us numbers by the middle of December. They're probably lying because all distributors lie. I, they're, and, well, they've never been able to get numbers that early, but I've heard a lot of uh, distributors like definitely for you, my, bozos on in the in the southwest. Wait a second, I thought there was no difference between p- accounts. No, there no, are for well, geography reasons. You have a, yeah, you and I are so, in the same office, boo boo. Because I'm in a different office, I don't get my numbers until a week or two before because they will not give me my numbers until they know for sure the quality of product in the warehouse. The system so they, seems like it was created in 1965 in. and has never changed. I feel like that's an insult to 1965. <laughs> um, so back in back in those, they times, got to space, Louis. Um, 
Anywho, <laughs> that's a valid point. <laughs> Without, without like a lot of computers, they were doing a lot of math at that they point. They were using Luigi Advocate. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. They, they got to space. Um, PCs back then to be pissed about. They uh, got to space, but we can't figure out how to allocate boxes of cardboard to, to the accurate oh, good. I don't know what Rudy's next video will be about. This will be great. So I think the. Oh. Anywho, going back to what I was originally saying before you bozos interrupted me, I. One distributor is already taking numbers. I will tell you that, like, they have told me orders are down. I sure. they're they're telling me that like this might not be as heavily allocated as the other sets. Yeah, I tend to Which think that makes sense. Though. I tend to think that that's good. Like, I I think this is the I think that's very good and healthy. But I'm excited I will for say, this set if you too. order a box for yeah. one thirty. Uh, and you're like, George, I got fleeced. I will just laugh at you yeah. for, for, for Everfest because you deserve this. Because we told you. You deserve this. We told like, you. Because right. I, like, <laughs> Everfest, in my opinion, one fat man in a Hawaiian shirt's opinion will be between map and 110. And yeah. Well, and, and if you hunt a little bit, you'll get it at MSRP. I will warn that MSRP is now $99. By the yeah. way, I wish they would have just said a hundred, but that's okay. Yeah, they have raised. Did they mark that on the on the product yeah. sheet that Everywhere. it's going up? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. MSRP is now hundred bucks. Yeah. I think that's up. a good and reasonable price to expect to pay for Everfest. If you're like, hey, I got the Channel Fireball Special at one seventy five. Okay. Congrats. Yeah, and I think this is a good point. Like, also remember the people that you got fleeced from for. Monarch, the, and for Monarch and Tails, and maybe just don't buy from them. Yeah, and maybe paying, just if you paid more than two fifty, three hundred a box at Monarch. Yeah. Well, maybe you should see. Like, does this store really care about me? Right. Does that content creator really care about me? I don't know. And if you're paying for, <laughs> I don't know. More than that. <laughs> there was Louie. <laughs> Just like just ran right over them. Just why I didn't. The why wasn't Louis even bought, a store. Louis bought boxes and sold boxes. Louis I cool. bought boxes for four hundred dollars and sold them for three hundred and twenty-five as yeah. box openings to my patrons. Louis, Louis seventy-five dollar loss. Bright. He's not evil. That's the difference. Because <laughs> I wanted content daily for Monarch because the set was so good. <laughs> you know what's really nice about your computer going out? You don't have to make content daily, and you can have a healthy balance of life. I've still done two videos a day. But I noticed yeah. not yesterday. Yesterday you did twenty videos. <laughs> Listen, every man. time I looked at my phone, I'm like, yeah, there were multiple notifications. Five like, new notifications. Like, oh no, it's just Louis putting out ten new videos. Dude, I'm I'm trying to hit a million <laughs> views by the end of the year. You know that's a lot of work. Have you guys had a million views? Have you... Tyler Broughton's coming to my I mean, I've, event I've on Saturday. Do you want me to do an interview with him there from Compete Sport? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Free content. Are you going to hold the mic no. like that and just shove it in front of yeah, Tyler's yeah. face and then put it back in your ears? Tyler, talk yeah. to me. Talk to me. <laughs> I'm tell, me why, tell me why The Rock is the greatest art, male. Tyler, so isn't Tyler younger? Ever. Isn't, he, isn't Tyler younger than Louis? I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, so he's probably not going to know who The Rock is either. Listen, I'm, I'm getting just self-conscious saying... about my age. I'm turning 30 soon. 30's hard. Yeah. It, uh, 30 was brutal. Uh, yeah. Was it? How yeah. was turning 50? Not that bad. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Things hurt. Uh, what were For we those who don't about? know, George is still in his 30s. <laughs> Things hurt and I'm oh, tired. Pre-ordering. Don't pre-order for more than $100. I can tell you right yes. now. Now listen. That'd be, I, that's what I would do. Yep. There is a, there is a, a time when... <laughs> Hey everyone, don't pre-order for more than a hundred, and then LSS completely changes their whole direction and like short prints first edition, and everyone's angry at us for yeah, saying that. Like, but like, this is why LSS needs to communicate so, what they're doing. I agree, but like, here's what I also say: is that it's a supplemental set. Yeah. If you're building for a certain hero or two, maybe a box isn't what you actually want. Hmm. Well, maybe I gotta call my good friend the professor. Oh, just buy singles. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta call my good friend the professor, and he'll tell me what to do. Hmm. Louis's good friend, his confidant. Yeah. Uh, and like, I would, I would say best friend. 
<laughs> Definitely would... best TCG related friend. Like that one for sure. A highlight. <laughs> like when I think who is my favorite TCG related. Who am human, I most thankful for? Yeah. I think the professor. And then Mitch. He doesn't carry you. And then Rudy. And <laughs> I don't I say Ollie, sure I'll be honest. You all know. I thought you were going with Ollie. This this triad would not exist without Mitch being in the middle. That's, That's all I have to say. That's yeah. Right. So, this triad would not exist. George and I with... became best friends first, and then I had best friends with Louis, and then we but... all three became the three best friends that you've ever seen. That's 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 this triad would not exist without Louis calling Mitch, begging him for boxes, and Mitch not Which giving I never Louis gave. boxes, and, pa- and pawning me George. off on George. <laughs> We need a That's we need 1, a made the zoo. That is accurate. <laughs> we need a made the zoo with the origin stories. You ready for this? When I first got your email, Louis, I thought your name was Lois, and I was like very confused the first time I talked to you. Nice. I remember this. I reached out to George. I was like, "Hey, I need to talk to Louis." Like, you like Lois? And I was like, "No, Louis." Like, Lois Lane is, <laughs> is she married to Superman? Like, I think she'd do a movie. I do remember Rock that though. Superman. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the Rock would be a sweet Superman. That'd be a great Superman. I know. Um, oh gosh, the Rock would be a horrible Superman. No. This no. is what I don't like. The Rock. Everyone's like, "Oh, just throw the Rock in the movie. It'll be a great movie." Here's a like. Superman is not the Rock. You watch Moana, then you get back to me. I'm not watching. Yeah. Moana. What? Can you it please make that song the intro movie. to the intro to the video? No, that's called getting demonetized. I have to make my three dollars off of this video. No sharing, I noticed. <laughs> yeah, no I sharing. I do not cut you guys in on the the ad Sorry. revenue. That's all right. George is going to start liquidating and, and start taking advantage of the brand. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm going to put on everything. Um, I'm just yeah, slap the acronym on it. Everfest. I think between <laughs> math and MSRP is a good place. I love how we went like, all right, we're done with yeah. Fab. Let's go over to MetaZoo Minute. And now we're back to Everfest. Yeah. I'm actually genuinely excited for this set. I love supplemental sets as much as I give crap for Crucible. I still think they're fun to open. Yeah. But it'll be, well, it'll be a fun to the open set. They have the most, they have, they have the, you won't get. Has the most upside. Yeah, you usually don't. I don't think they have the most upside. I think they have the least downside. You're not going to get wrecked. Well, okay. Same thing in my head, but yeah, I got you. There's cards for everyone in that set. And we get to see reprints for the first time out of a yeah, set, really. I, all Crucible reprinted, I've heard. That'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's move on. Um, I'm excited. I'm super hyped. I. Uh, you know, I hope they give Briar some support because it's the hero I know. Um, Briar for life. Continue. <laughs> if they give Briar lots of support, I'm gonna be. It's gonna be bad. What? It's no. Gonna be, I'm gonna call the Rock. <laughs> Say, <laughs> hey, the Rock. Can you head over to New Zealand for me and do some business for me? <laughs> we need you I'll, to talk about Briar. No, we just need a Rock hero to beat Briar. That's the only thing that could beat her. Uh... No, yeah. sorry, Lexi Briar's won. Lexi Briar's won. Hero I know. We all need I to talk about some love. Lexi that's what won Bravo is. in in Canada. Lexi won. So, yeah, that's the Bravo that's and good. the Rock are synonymous to one another. Do you not see them in their that's likeness? That's true. Yeah. All right, okay. let's continue. Met is a minute. Let's go. Let's, actually, let's go, George. What do you have for us? George wouldn't tell us what he's doing today. We we made suggestions for the Meta Zoom Minute. You did not. You're like, let's talk about how they're doing it. second edition. Yeah, let's that's talk. news to everybody. Great job, everybody. The NFT white paper comes out today. Oh, my God. No, we're definitely not talking about NFTs. So why not? Let's talk it's about a, booster boxes. The, the group like grew 30 to 40% off of All right. NFTs. Booster boxes. That, you know what? Screw it. Make it right. Let's talk about that. No, I was I, caught completely off guard. Yeah, this is true. By the amount of growth. That, that the Discord Meta community. Discord saw based on that NFT announcement completely off guard. It like doubled. It like yeah, it, it yeah, like three percent amount. Not, yeah, not doubled. But yeah, if you're bad at if you're using Louis Abacus, it doubled. <laughs> <laughs> Louis loves math just as much. Louis as Louis Abacus. Oh, yeah. listen, it's like a lot of rounding errors. My favorite mine. comment from last last week's was uh, maybe I need to stop taking Louis's financial advice. I'm bad at doing this math. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. is doing out of curiosity gets to I know I, I I keep missing fishy drops I'm too busy 
I've been too busy shipping MetaZoo bundles. I've spent yeah approximately 25, 25 hours by myself shipping Dude. MetaZoo bundles this week. That's why I'm Metazoo so busy. Fire still, man. MetaZoo is yeah. unbelievable. All right, I don't want to talk about NFTs. I, I want to talk about boxes. All right. Yep. So let me ask you this. I'm serious now. We what we saw that we before? saw the dip we all expected after nightfall with boxes going down to the low 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 price of seven hundred and fifty dollars for Crypto Nation for first edition. They're yep. now flirting, they're now flirting with a grand again. Kickstarter's back up to about nine to ten grand again. Yep. What like they like the next the next challenge will be you can't ten x every six months right right i think that like we need to have an honest talk with the meta zoo community who i love we all love yeah i love them most um maybe other than mike and aoki and ted um congrats on the promotion spit, spit it out i think we need to i think it is very healthy to think that second edition is going to go for MSRP to two hundred dollars. Yeah, I, I don't. I I was just thinking MSRP. I wasn't even thinking there was going to be a. You know what? I'll I, be honest. I thought Nightfall would be close to MSRP. He that's printed fair. a billion packs. He printed the equivalent of a hundred and fifteen thousand flesh and blood boxes. If you convert his wow. amount of packs to the flesh and blood box. Oh yeah, because there's thirty six packs. Because. And yeah. you have spell books, and you have one in each theme deck. A hundred, and you have that. three in each release deck. I didn't even do that. Like, I don't think I did that. There's a hundred and fifteen thousand booster boxes equivalent. Wow! That's so crazy. the monarch print run was still... one hundred fifteen thousand. This is the demand. That's how you're calculating the demand. And MetaZoo Why? boxes, Why? The booster boxes are still selling me, like Louis? crazy. I'm talking about MetaZoo, and you come in here with this hate speech. I'm um, sorry. Um, we can only talk about one TCG at a time. My bad. It's true, actually. My brain can't can't hold it right now. But I mean, that's actually pretty <laughs> substantial. You think about it, and the boxes have not dropped substantially. They're staying steady Nick, at 200. That's insane. Yeah, I'm well like, aware. That's insane. <laughs> Like, and this is what drives me crazy when people are like, oh, geez, you can tell he knows what he has when he's not trying to print enough boxes. I'm like, you guys, he has almost printed, he's closer to printing twice as many boxes equivalent as the first three sets of Flesh and Blood. Yeah. And he did that in his second set. That's the only set. Like, the only set I'm talking about is, 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 Crypto, is um, uh, Nightfall. I, I know, but I'm just saying, yeah. like, his second set was legitimately Nightfall, and yeah. he prints a, a, an astounding like, number of boxes. The issue MetaZoo has isn't a lack of supply. It's an insatiable demand. Yeah. Right. And, and this I is actually warn... extremely challenging for TCGs. It's incredibly hard. But I want to tell, like, yeah. the... My understanding from where Mike sees it, I could be wrong. And Mike, uh, if you're listening to this, first of all, we love you. Second of all, where's those, where's those uncut sheets at? Third of all, <laughs> let's... Uh, <laughs> you, you can correct me in the comments. <laughs> Uh, I'm just kidding, Mike. I love you. I got um, my spot, my spot right there my uncut sheet. I mean, I'm not at my house, but you know, if I was, um, I'd have a clear spot too. Mike does not love this. Like Mike is very clear with stores that he will look like that fat Santa on the um, play mat and do a naughty and nice list. Yeah. Well, yep. and I think with second edition, the, his I I think that his goal is that it stays on the shelves for a while at stores. And I think that's a really great goal because as you get people coming into the LGS and are looking to put in boxes and i think this is why he's like throttling it like so yeah. it can't sell out tomorrow like it's and let me be clear like i love mike that's not going to happen i don't think like i suspect if i got in three thousand boxes i'd sell three thousand boxes that first yeah. or second day like i say that's insane back. you think you're gonna, you think you're gonna, gonna say you think you're gonna sell all your boxes just like that i actually I think, think that's so. much here's why here's why mitch a thousand dollars is a big in TCGs, a thousand dollars is a is a big gap. It's a big um, it, it's a like it, it's just a You're mental gap. You're saying a thousand dollars, I think it, a lot it, of people will buy a seven hundred and fifty dollar box. That amount of people that buy a thousand dollar box, it, it, that number just like scares people. Uh, yeah. So like, I think like a thousand dollar box of Crypto Nation First Edition is just too expensive 
for anybody, even somebody who loves flesh or who loves MetaZoo a ton to get in. Sure. I think we saw this in Flesh and Blood. We see that with Crucible. It couldn't it couldn't breach a thousand unless you know whatever we're selling it. But um <laughs> Wow, the Duncan Rudy and Rock episode is here and is alive and well, boys. <laughs> um, but but yeah, you know, wow, I think that thousand dollar price point is is rough. Like it's a rough price point. So, I mean, like I view it like a stock almost, right? Like, it's just like there's a point of resistance, and once it breaks it, we're off to the races. Yeah, like you see but, this, you see this with Kickstarter, you see this with Alpha, you see this with Arcane. I mean, like, I think you'll see this with first edition uh, quickly. With Nifle? Um, oh, no, sorry, you're with Krypton Nation. Uh, over a thousand. I agree, but I think the people I think who Nightfall, buy that... I mean, I'll be honest, I think Nightfall's on... I think... I bought Nightfall this week. Oh, I'm buying Nightfall. Interesting. I'm buying Night, my, Nightfall next week. <laughs> I just shipped out um, all my Nightfall, so I got, like... So, gotta, so you can buy more Nightfall? Oh, yeah. I, roll, I, I did the same with Krypton Nation. I just kind of roll my profits into my boxes. <laughs> That's what I did with Monarch. It worked well. Um, <laughs> and, it's um, funny because it's true, isn't it? That's F, well, not the work well part. Um, <laughs> I bought up. No, I, I, mopped, I mopped up the floor on Crypto Nation. I was too. on vacation, sitting in the bathroom, <laughs> buying on eBay. Just like <laughs> Jeez. I, uh, no, I just see you doing your rock impression on the bathroom floor, crying. Using oh, I gotta abacus. buy more boxes on the rock. <laughs> abacus. If I have two hundred dollars oh, worth of these tokens. What do I do with these? Oh, uh, man. So I, I got to um, buy Nightfall next week. I bought a bunch of Nightfall this week. Oh, dang it. I should have beat you to it. Um, there's plenty. They, uh, there's still a decent amount on the market. So. There's still a good amount at like the 230-ish price, 240-ish price. Yeah. I think like I think once it hits 250 and, and holds there and breaks that. Yeah. Mooning. But what I'm saying about thousand dollar boxes, I think I agree with you, George. They will go up, and they, you know, once it breaks a gap, whatever. But I think the per, the people who buy a thousand dollar box, uh, there's a there's a different group of people who buy those boxes than who are buying Crypto Nation Second Edition. And I think it's important for those people who got Nightfall to be able to get boxes um, and be able to get Crypto Nation and experience that set, whether they're playing or collecting or investing or whatever, it's still fun to open up the boxes and, and enjoy it. And let me tell you what I hope more than anything else for this community. And they've done, and I'll do this. Like I like the Metazoo community. They, they've, you're not gross. muted. Mitch. Sorry. Gross. I'm not sorry, muted. Guys. gross. I'm sorry. They've been very guys, cool and very me. nice. Yeah. I, I hope you don't leave this out. Don't be a jackass. Do not, do not, do not go to your store and buy out every second edition box. And if you're a store owner, tell them to go screw themselves. Yeah, I hate this. Because I get a message like, every single day. Somebody asks seriously. me to buy me out of my yeah. what, what, my allocation of the next Absolutely. set. And like second edition is meant to broaden the base of the MetaZoo fan. Yeah. Those, those 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 new followers in the Discord... They probably don't have a single box yet. Yeah. Second edition is meant to be their entry point into the MetaZoo world. And as store owners and as consumers, I think we owe it to the game to do that. Yep. To help that happen. To get these boxes into new players and collectors' hands. Yeah. They're also rolling out organized play with second edition, Hype. too. Yes. So Hype. Like, yep. I think what I believe... Important. Mike said that he's going to do decks for that, right? So yeah, you just hand out decks as part of that picture. event. Yeah. 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 Good stuff. I'm getting ready to do my, I'm going to do a pre sale. Um, it's coming up soon. I mean, it's coming soon. For second edition. When does it come out? December, right? It's December. Mid December. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right before Christmas. A what Christmas are special from PhD. I haven't heard anything. I, from I think it's just Friday. Oh, I interesting. Heard, I next Friday. Better call. Better call my homie. Better call him. All right. Uh, yeah. Anything else? So uh, made the Crypto Nation made the on the horizon. <laughs> oh yeah, rock. you said the white sheet's coming out today. Yeah, NFT uh, website's coming out today. Woo -woo. George, are you on the white list? Yeah, I think I don't know, but yeah. That probably means. Did you get the Did you get the email, George? Yeah, the, the, he has no clue. I have no clue. <laughs> I have not checked my email in three weeks due to being away. I have like no idea. He doesn't know. even know what a whitelist is. 
Is that where you buy your sheets? I don't know. So like I bought the so I, I came home. <laughs> I came home. I think it's no, that's white barn, black barn or something how, like that. How long you been home? Like three days. Well, I have while. slept okay. like a baby. I like you had that many VIPs, did that, huh? I'll get so many I'll VIPs. So you just need. <laughs> I'll be honest. Uh, I I was ready to get home. I was ready to get home. Well, we're glad you're back. Of VIPs. Do you feel like a VIP now, George? I always do. No, that's fair. All right, everyone. May the zoo be with you. <laughs> May the rock be with you. And uh, and also with you. And dear the rock, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you want to be friends, I didn't mean to insult you. You seem like you're a great welcome guy. on the podcast anytime. The Rock. Let me be very clear here. <laughs> you are welcome on the podcast. Anytime. I think he prefers Dwayne Johnson at this point in life. Dear the fine. Rock, you seem like a great guy, but maybe just not a very good actor. Maybe. <laughs> are, are you calling him? Are you calling him the Rock? Like the, the, the rock. rock. It's D A Rock, right? No, it's the Rock. <laughs> it's the Rock, D-A-G right? <laughs> rock. There's no the Rock. <laughs> The Rock. Oh, you're thinking of Dwayne The Rock Johnson. That's where you got that from. His name is not Derek. It's not The Rock. It's not Derek. It's It's The Rock. Just Rock. Just Rock. It's D A space R O W K. Nailed it. Uh, It's not. (laughs) Nailed it. It's fine. Absolutely. It it is now. It is now. (laughs) It it wasn't before this, but now it is. That's where you're wrong, Mick. I'm sorry. Oh, I mean, I'll let it happen. I can be wrong occasionally. All right, may the zoo be with you all, and remember to be <laughs> awesome with you. around you. Just burn this episode. Burn it. Burn it like yeah, a Rudy card. Where's Rudy's, where's Rudy's torch? Let's get it out and just yeah. send him the video, let's, and he'll just I, catch it Let's let fire. Rudy burn our episode for us. Can you just, with the computer that you don't have, can you just do like a fire overlay that just intensifies as the episode goes on? <laughs> <laughs> and, and we just look at it. Everything's fine. He has to have just his computer to do that. Yeah, I, don't I know. That's the funny thing. Well, even if he had his computer, it would be strong enough be to do that. This podcast on a ten-year-old MacBook Pro. <laughs> oh, <the> <laughs> All right, goodbye, everyone. Be kind to of people around you. God Bye, everybody. You Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Black Friday. <laughs>